make your way back the way you came and then head down the corridor to the left. And now you are approaching the room with the humming and the glowing that you can see now as you get closer. Whoa. <laughs> That's the main source of the humming? Yes. As you enter the chamber, you're immediately drawn to the wall covered in glowing runes, pulsing with faint otherworldly energy. The chamber is eerily quiet, save for the soft humming of the water and the occasional flicker of spectral lights floating aimlessly. Faded murals and broken relics scattered around hint at a lost civilization and forgotten rituals. I want to start investigating the runes and symbols to see if I can decipher if it's some sort of lock or if it's meant to seal something in, whatever I can decipher from it. There are so many runes on this thing that you're going to have to specifically tell me which area of it or portion of it you are going to begin trying to decipher. I'll start with just the door itself. Make an arcana check. <clears throat> 17. The ancient door at the chamber's end is shut tight, its frame inscribed with similar runes. You sense that these runes hold the key to unlocking the door, but also a dangerous magic that should not be trifled with carelessly. Do any of the runes on the wall or the door match the symbols on the dice? Yes, they do. I'll investigate what almost looks like wording that goes up and around the outer runes. Make an arcana check. You are having a difficult time deciphering the runes. I'm going to go ahead and explore and investigate the rest of the room while he's studying the door. Egress is also never used to investigate. Just kind of around the room. Maybe kind of investigate the door. You can make an arcana check as well. And you can make a perception check, Rin. 24. There are murals on the walls. Faded murals. Of different scenes. A dirty 20 give us any insight into how to open the door? Or there you... is a faded mural depicting a battle scene. There is a mural depicting various landscapes. So different places, different things. I'm going to pull out my spell book and pull out my magical quill. I'm going to start copying all the runes that I can on however many pages, starting with the door and the outer ring. I got a dirty 20 you kind of get the same thing that Henrik did as far as the door. The runes hold the key to unlocking the door. Eight large runes that go around the door seem to be sectioned off with the runes on the outside ring. Mm -hmm. Like each primary rune has several secondary runes next to it as it goes up and around. And then there's one giant rune up at the top. As we stand before the runed wall, I feel Suna's light guiding my hand. I examine each rune carefully, seeking their meaning alongside Henrik's arcane insight and egress and Rin's keen observations. I touch one of the runes and whisper a prayer. Suna, guide us through this mystery. Let your light reveal the path hidden in shadow. Okay, there are eight major runes going around in kind of like a clock shape. Like the numbers on a clock, sort of. Okay. You can see them on the image. And there's another large rune at the very top. And then there are multiple runes going around the outside rim. Let's do the very big one at the very top. Okay, make an arcana check. With it right here? Yes. Don't pick a different dice. Haha. -ha. 24. Okay. The rune at the very top is the rune for ascending. Ascending? While he's studying, I will sit down with my lute and I will sing a song about Henrik's arcane prowess and cast bardic inspiration on him. I'll move to the first one, the bottom left. Make an arcana check, with advantage. Nine. Not 20. This is the rune for battle, and Rin, it reminds you of the mural that you saw depicting a battle scene. You also were able to decipher the other runes on the outer ring in that quadrant as sword, axe, spear, bow, and dagger. Ren, make an insight check. 16. You notice that in the mural, the faded mural depicting a battle scene, 
both sides of the people fighting in the battle are using spears. It is basically the dominant weapon in the mural. I'll point that out to the others. And also the rune that you saw that said battle, Henrik, the rune is round and pointing in towards the middle is a little arrow, a little triangle shaped arrow. Can I spin it? Do you try? Yes. How do you do it? Pretending it's like almost like a hollow pad, I'll pull my fingers up and just touching it lightly. And And you rotate it, it starts to move. Okay, I'll point it to the spear. Okay, it points at the spear. Do the other ones also And the rune begins to pulsate. Okay. I'll try and figure out what the second rune means. Make an arcana check with advantage. Serafina continues helping. 18. You interpret the rune as life. Birth, growth, aging, healing, and decline. I'm going to ask Grand, anything kind of remind you of life in those murals? I'll go back to studying the murals. Make a perception or investigation check. 13. It's unclear. Egress, do you, can, can you feel those murals? Make a perception or investigation check. 19. You see a mural depicting various stages of life. This mural has perhaps some raised edges that you can sort of feel. Okay. Make an insight check, egress. Oof. Oh. Crit one. Okay. You're not able to determine much else by feeling the mural. I guess I'll just pet the next number three. Arcana check. Thirteen. You are unable to read that room. Next one. <laughs> Go ahead, make your arcana check with advantage. Eleven. No. Can't read that room either. Are you guys finding anything else out with those murals? I'm going to point it to the different stages of life and see if it does anything. Tell me which one you point it at. I want to go to the decline. Okay, when you point it at decline, the rune turns red and blasts you with eldritch energy. An intelligence saving throw. Oh, 23. Okay, you take five points. It's shocking damage. It's not decaying. (laughs) It's not decaying. Yeah, everybody saw him just get blasted by the rune, and as you kind of get blown back by this shock, the rune turns itself back to the inside automatically. So on the mirror with the life, is there like prominently in the center of that mural? Like is there a Make an insight check. person getting birth? Is there something dying? 13. You can't tell. I'm going to go over and look at it. Okay, make an insight check. 22. Okay. You realize that birth is the central theme. I'm just going to kind of nod my head, walk over to the rune, and turn it to birth. Okay. And I'm going to listen. You turn the life rune to birth, and you are blasted with eldritch energy as it glows red to make an intelligence save. 16. You take four points of damage. I will cast Cure Wounds on Henrik. Thank you. I appreciate it. Plus seven. Do it again! <laughs> I'm just going to continue to study the murals and see if I can see themes within the other ones. Perception check. 23. Okay. You detect a mural showing different bodies of water. I'm just going to investigate the next rune. 25. You understand that that is the rune of death. Decay, end, passing, loss, and rebirth. Next one, six. 22. 22. You decipher the rune to mean fire. Spark, ember, flame, blaze, inferno. I'll try and decipher seventh. Make your arcana check. Not 20. That is the rune for water. Ocean, lake, river, pond, stream. Here's the mural for water. Does the mural have any clues in it? For which one to pick? I'm going to move that one to ocean. Okay. You turn it to the point at ocean, and it turns red and blasts you with Eldritch energy. <laughs> and then it turns itself back. Make an intelligent save. 
Okay, and that's like a tw 20. Okay, two points of shocking damage. I was so confident in that one, too. So you found the the mural showing right. different bodies of water. Make an insight check. Oh, God, Lord. Ten. Seraphina comes to help. You study it. Roll with advantage. Nat 20. Okay. You find that rivers are prominently featured. I guess I'll walk over and turn it towards river. You turn the water rune towards river, and it turns red and blasts you with an eldritch energy. Make an intelligence save. 13. Okay, you take three points of shock damage. Go ahead. Can Egress notice a theme of why, even though we're turning it to the correct ones that is depicted on the themes? Make an insight check. Maybe we have to do them in order. Did the battle one turn back? No, it's still pulsing. Twelve. You aren't sure, but you think it might have something to do with the top rune. Because it's incorrect. not in the circle with the other runes. Is the top rune incorrectly, like... Well, does that one have a spin? You can't reach it. How do you get up there to it? It's, it says ascend climb? on oh, it. Climb Make a climbing check. Fifteen. You are able to climb up the door to that little ledge that the door makes at the top of the door, and from there you can just barely reach that room. And are there any, like, is that pointing to anything else? It does not have an arrow like the other large rooms do. But can it turn? Do you try to turn it? Yeah, I'll try to turn. It does not turn. Okay. Is there any clues, now that he's up close to it, that he can see? Can he push it? Do you ask him? Can you push it? I'll push it. It does not push. I'll try and pull it. How? <laughs> How do you pull with it? With his talons. Yeah, with my awkward, like... It's carved into the stone. There's really nothing to grab onto. Okay, I guess I'll do the eighth one. Try to decipher it? Yeah. Go ahead and make your arcana check. Is she helping me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, 25. You identify the rune as earth, valley, mountain, forest, river, plain. I'm going to move that one to river. Okay. You move it to river, and it turns red and blasts you with eldritch energy. Roll, roll your save, please. You take seven points of shocking damage. That's halved? Yes. Oh my. I will cast Cure Wounds on Henrik again. Thank you, Ren. As you guys are doing Six. this, the ethereal lights that are buzzing around begin to oh, yeah. harass you. One of them even attacks Henrik. You take six points of necrotic damage. I'm necrotic? Do they only seem to be attacking because he's the only one who's been messing with it so much? Make an insight check. 21. You do sense their movements, because you, you can kind of hear sort of a buzzing from them. Their movements are becoming more erratic, and you feel a growing sense of urgency a warning from the very air around you that lingering here might invoke the wrath of more of these long-trapped spirits. 